tragic and devastating explosion in West Texas, uh, which as uh, the acting deputy secretary reminded, uh, or, or observed, remind us, reminds us of the destructive power of large quantities of chemicals of interest. So although there is no indication that the explosion in West was the result of a terrorist act of the sort that the CFAS is designed to protect against, it really reflects why we've been working so hard across this industry to ensure that high-risk facilities contain large quantities of release and toxic chemicals are secured against terrorist attack. Even as we continue to seek ways to make CFAS or to take CFAS to the next level and to work together to, um, to do all we can to prevent tragedies such as the one that occurred in the West uh, from occurring again, I think it's important that we, uh, we take some time to reflect upon the fact that CFAS through a great deal of work um, across my organization, across the uh, department, and across the stakeholder community, has indeed made America safer. Um, you know, facilities across an array of industry segments have submitted more than 40,000 top screens, notifying us of threshold uh, holdings of chemicals of interest. Um, more than 7,800 security vulnerability assessments, or SBAs, have been completed by facilities. The facilities that have, in completing these SBAs, reviewed and assessed their vulnerabilities and uh, looked at ways to address those vulnerabilities. I continue also to see progress uh, in the CFAS program on the SSP approval and the facility inspections front. Um, just looking back at this time last year when I was uh, here at the, uh, at the sixth annual summit, uh, we were talking about having authorized the midpoint in the uh, in the continuum of, of activity on uh, the SSPs, 50 site security plans. Uh, we're now, I'm here now to talk about having authorized upwards of 500 SSPs. Uh, we were talking last year about having conducted 10 authorization inspections in total. Uh, we have now conducted nearly 350 of those inspections. Uh, at this time last year, we had yet to grant final approval uh, to a single site security plan. Um, um, thrilled to be able to tell you today that we have now approved 160 of those plans. So in so many ways, I'm very pleased to say that the CFAS program, and I uh, indulge me if I repeat this two or three times over the course of this presentation, uh, has really uh, turned the corner 